Hey guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. I'm here with my friend Matt, who's talking about his 30 day full body group challenge. As someone who has worked out with Matt before. Oh jeez, my, arm, <laughs> my arms are just tired. I'm weak, man. <laughs> I can tell you that he's legit. I'm a personal trainer, a registered nurse, and a behavioral change specialist. I've been working on this program, the 30 day full body group challenge, for about four years. What I do is I use mental fitness in a group aspect for training where you are with minimal equipment so you can attain your goals long term. I wanna set you up to never need a personal trainer again. So click the link in the description below. Awesome. <laughs> it's been a minute since I've done this, man. Let there be light. Oh man, it's been way too long since I have done another one of these. Man, I love these. Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lane Fitness. Welcome to another Matt's Mental Fitness. If you're new to the series, I truly appreciate you sliding by. Basically what this is, is me going through my own mental fitness. I talk about it a lot, but let me wear it on my sleeve for you. I get done speaking with my therapist, come right out, turn the camera on, and just talk about what we talked about. I love doing that, lending the transparency and aha moments and the literal processing of it when I just get off the phone. If you don't know, I started this series quite some time back, but it took a shift to when I started going to therapy to work on my own confidence. I set out to improve my own confidence, which I definitely have now, a lot has changed. After I started really improving my confidence, I really started trying to sell. Uh, as a business owner, uh, working on selling without losing my soul. And in October of 2020, I started doing that. I have a program that I need to launch. And I was like, you know what? I have no excuse, that's it. Let's just do it on this video. Let this be the first video. If you're interested, there's gonna be a link in the description below from now on. It's a 30 day full body group challenge. I took a plunge that I was very uncomfortable with. I never wanted to come across as that sleazy guy, and um, I haven't. I'm proud of that. I've done a really good job, and I'm very proud of what I've done. So she asked me, how are things going? And I was like, things are fantastic. I'm very fortunate, I'm very happy, I'm extremely busy. I'm able to work with people now. That was my intention. Uh, towards the end of 2020, I was like, I wanna work with people. We'll get in the trenches with them, and that's exactly what I'm doing. It's exactly what has happened. As of right now, I'm working with 20 different individuals, which is unbelievable, if I'm being transparent, that, that I have the, I guess the ability, the ability to be able to communicate with 20 people, run them through you know, my programming and, and, and apply the mental fitness techniques. And uh, it is the 30 day full body group challenge. One thing that I really haven't talked about beyond the 30 day is the 60 day full body group challenge, the 90 day, the 120 day, and the 150 day is coming. I actually don't even know if I've told that to the 120 day peeps yet, but uh, there you go. I have been very fortunate to take on a group of individuals that started out in the 30 day full body group challenge that have progressed all the way to the 120 now. I have loved the, the transparent nature of our relationship of me very much being the coach, them very much being the, the client, doing what they're supposed to do without a doubt. But I've point blank asked, I've been like, hey, what have you enjoyed about this? What would you change? What was good, what was bad? And you know, I basically was like, what do you want to see moving forward? They painted the picture of what they wanted. I have produced that uh, because after the 60 day, I really didn't have much plans because I didn't really think people would still be around. Um, I hadn't thought that far in advance. I just wanted to get started. She said, okay, well, what about you? And I was like, hey, well, you see, <laughs> one thing that I'm very proud of myself for is that I've, I, I've learned not to judge myself. I learned that a little while ago and I've, I've perfected it even more so and I still work on it, but one thing I didn't see coming was not judging myself on a business standpoint. What the hell does that mean? If I know that I'm doing what I should be doing, if I'm working, if I'm applying myself, if it's not coming from a place of laziness, then I know that at 11 o'clock at night, midnight when I'm working on things and I'm falling asleep, I don't judge the hell out of myself and think, wow, you're a real piece of shit because you're not, you're not working on this, you're not doing this. I just know that that's coming from exhaustion. I'm able to discern, I'm able to 
figure out and not judge the hell out of myself. Speaking with clients that maybe I needed to fix something, I didn't judge myself for needing to fix something. I more or less rewarded myself for being able to be like, hey, what can I do to make it better for you? Turning around, making it better for them. So I'm very happy about that. Having said that, because of the increased uh, fulfillment from this, I think that it is more difficult for me to take more downtime for myself because I enjoy this so much. It gives me so much that I don't want to get away from it. There is not a second that goes by that it's not in my head. It's almost an obsession. Uh, it's been that way for four years and that's when you know you're truly passionate about something. She said, you know that that's not sustainable on a human level. And I said, yes, you're right. I, I agree with that, you're right. She said, so where where is it? Like, where do you apply that time for math? And I was like, I guess I don't. She's like, well, you, you're gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to apply the therapy for yourself. You, you know, basically I told, I told her like, initially what comes out of my brain is, I think of like a day. I, I dedicate a day to myself. And the, the practicality of that is non-existent. She said, well, then what about pockets of time? And I was like, no, I like the way you're thinking. How, like, how twisted is that that I'm like, uh, I'll, I'll accept pockets of time for my mental health, for, my, for myself. And then she said, so what does that look like to you? And I was like, well, what my brain goes to, what the ideal, idealistic thing would be I wake up in the mornings and I use uh, a meditation app or do deep breathing. I know that that's not practical. For me right now, the season I'm in, like every day is truly different. What I'm working on, what I'm doing, I'm training holding in the mornings, two days a week. And I don't wanna set myself up for, all right, every single morning, I'm getting up at 5.14 in the morning and I'm gonna do deep breathing for three minutes. Like I would much rather figure out how can I make it practical to fit into my life? And she was like, well, what about when eating? And I was like, yeah, you right, I like that a lot. The concept of eating, just mindfully eating because when I eat, super fast, like just speed. Let's get through it so I can get on to the next thing. It truly is how I am. I've always been that way. Uh, you can ask Jenna, you can fact check me on that. I actually thought what I'm gonna do for the next month is I'm gonna set a timer when I start to eat where I have to be mindful of eating. And I think that's a good step in making that conscious time for myself. And I do believe that right now, that's all I can do. Two or three times a day, I can consciously slow down just a little bit. Be conscious of the food, be grateful for the food. And I'm okay with that. I don't judge the hell out of myself for that. Because I'm doing good shit, because I'm moving, I'm working, I'm going, I'm enjoying it. You know, I think I've talked about it a handful of times on, on Mass Mental Fitness that I've felt my creativity at times going up and then going down and going up and going down and because I am going so much. I, as of recording this, I've live streamed every single day for 51 days. On top of the client work and the content and the podcast and collaborating with the crew, holding Jeremy faster, fun, you know, and then just balancing my normal life and my full-time job. I just go and there's so little time to contemplate. There's so little time to be upset about things. There's so little time to do all that and I love it. I love the idea of figure it out along the way. Like to me, speed is so much better than the perfect plan. Speed is gonna allow me to correct. Like, okay, I screwed this up, it's all good. I can adapt, let's move. And I enjoy that. I feel better doing that. My creativity has been like through the, like you can't even see it, through the roof. Time is just a factor and I've, I've been fortunate that I've been able to reach and find a few new editors. I don't know man, what I'm doing and I truly believe that the fulfillment that I have, like why I'm in such a snowball motion good is because I'm working with people. It's because I'm, because I am working with these clients, I'm speaking with them on a Zoom call, all of them, and knowing that they're making progress. That's another thing, like some of their stories are incredible. Some of the progress that they've made is incredible. And if, like, I'm so happy for them. Basically, the recap is that I'm very fortunate. Things have been fantastic. I'm so happy to be working with people. Making time for myself in these little pockets are so important. I'm very proud of myself for not judging the hell out of myself um, from a business standpoint, knowing that I am putting in the work. My heart is in this. I'm doing my damn best. So what else can I ask of myself? How would I treat my own family member, my friend? How would I treat them knowing 
they're working their butt off. If they are working their butt off, why would I criticize them for, for messing up this one little thing or not quite, quite doing it perfectly? And that's what this channel is 100% about, is not about being perfect. It's about being better than yesterday every day. And God dang it, I'ma end it right there. That's it, that's it, that's it. What's next? To the moon, baby, to the moon. I love you.